and the green because I ran out of the orange. It's the only answer. For a really, really long time, I put my table saw up just because I wasn't comfortable with it. I had a couple pieces kick back on me while I was using a push stick and it kind of scared me. You know, I'm not gonna lie. When something like that happens and you get really close to cutting off a finger, you start thinking about it. And after that happened three times using the push stick, I kind of started not wanting to use it anymore. So I threw it into the corner and the table saw just started collecting dust for a while. And here is the push stick that came with it. This is a piece of crap. It's very thin, flimsy, and I didn't really ever think about making another one. And the plans that had came with it to make another one were the exact same. And this thing is ridiculous. It, it's not very well, well made. So now I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna try to start bringing out the table saw more, but I don't wanna abandon the hand tool world. Tonight, I'm gonna be combining both. Check it out. Go and trace around as best as possible. So that I have a decent wooden clean design. The thing I really like about this is that it's already got a handle put onto it. So for that side, I'm just going to straight down, and then right here where the blade is, that's where I'm going to start that notch. So I'm going to make sure to cover up around the front edge. So yep. All right, well, here it is after it's been cut out, and of course I had to paint it. I painted it orange and camouflage green just because I figure if I throw it down, I'll be able to find it a lot easier if it's the orange and the green because I ran out of the orange. It's the only answer. So now, of course, I can't just say, all right, let's throw it down. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so no doubt this is a lot better than this cheap one here. It's got a little bit longer of a toe on the holding down part and my hand feels a lot more out of the way. It's fatter, so it's three quarter inch wide, so I feel like I got more control. It's not tipping over as much. And I like this because I got the, the handle grip and then a place to actually rest my my pointer finger as I'm pushing through kind of helps control everything. The, my pointer helps control the front and I can control the pressure on the back side or the front side with the actual handle of the hand plane. So all in all, this is a win-win situation. I get to start using my table saw for quicker projects. I get a new toy to play with and I feel more secure and safe using this than the cheap little piece of crap that came with it. And of course, I get to keep the hand tool version in with using the power tools. So of course I, I like that. So thanks for watching guys. If you guys enjoyed this quick little video, you know, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave comments down below. What other kind of jigs do you guys have for your table saws? That way I can start getting some of them made and using them on different projects. Leave those down in the comments. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button. Check out all the other videos I have out there. I have woodworking, blacksmithing, DIY videos. And of course, I'll see you guys on the next video.